All right, let's actually get this started. All right. Hi, folks. I'm Josh. I'm a mathematician at Oxford and Stanford and a, uh, the executive director of Medigov, one of the organizations you see up there. And this is going to be a workshop on open problems in Dow science. What the hell does that mean? Uh, Oh, okay, it works. All right, so this is actually a series of workshops that have been hosted at uh, events over the past year, beginning with ETH Amsterdam, uh, following up with the Researching Web3 workshop, and most recently at the Stanford DAO workshop, part of the Science of Blockchains conference, uh, obviously at Stanford. And this is kind of like a, an exploration or a long-term project to build up this field, this new field of research of Dow science. And maybe a good framing for this, uh, to understand where we're coming from and how this is Dow science or Dow research might be distinguished from you know, typical things going on in the industry, is that the framing for this, for the questions that we want to ask, uh, are not you know, three months or six months or even a year down the line. It's really asking a question, what will Dow's look like 10 years from now? Will they still exist? Uh, how could they possibly disrupt the existing infrastructure for, let's say, corporate governance uh, or other modes of governance, like nonprofit governance? Uh, and there's a bet that we've released that maybe could help sharpen this. And the bet is, uh, imagine by 2032, imagine if DAOs or other digitally constituted organizations controlled and managed over 50% of the assets uh, of the US economy, or just the global economy. Just imagine if 50% of the entire economy was managed by DAOs. What would that look like? Could you imagine today's DAOs doing anything like that? Uh, personally, I can't. But, you know, that's exactly what we're trying to change through research. Now, uh, I'm gonna share, today, we're gonna do a little exercise. Uh, and it's going to spend most of today uh, speaking amongst ourselves in these small groups. Uh, so just, you're going to have to be comfortable hanging out with each other for the next 30 minutes. Hope you're okay with that. Uh, the idea here is we're going to do a little funding exercise. So over the past uh, several workshops of Open Problems in Dow Science, we've you know, come up with lists of open problems, uh, lists of problems sourced not only from practitioners, but also from researchers and academics. Now, what we want to do, uh, we've also sourced uh, more concrete research proposals that are derived and synthesized from studying some of these open problems. And now we'd like to present a selection of these proposals to you. And over the next 30 minutes, we're gonna talk about, well, will you want, would you actually fund them? You know, as practitioners, or per sometimes as even newbies to this space, like, do these things like make sense to you? Do they reflect or answer or respond to any of the problems that you care about? Uh, and you'll have a chance to sort of allocate, uh, rank some of these proposals, allocate them, and to give us a sense of what are the priorities of the ecosystem? You know, what kind of research should we be doing? And this is really just an exercise. Of course, there are like infinite uh, proposals that you can consider. But we felt this would be a really nice way to kind of interface with some proposals that have been developed by academics and leaders within these ecosystems, and then try to understand, you know, uh, try to engage how would you might be do this better? Or if you're interested in engaging with some of this research, uh, I can also connect you to, the, um, to some of the academics and the researchers who wrote these proposals. Okay, uh, so with that said, I'm gonna put down a QR code and everybody can uh, go to that. Uh, you can also, if you don't have a phone, just enter that uh, short link down there, just, just bit.ly slash devcon dash DAO. And that should take you to a spreadsheet uh, and a series of worksheets. Now, uh, I was completely underestimated the amount of people that will be in this room right now. 
Um, I honestly thought uh, there would be like at most five tables of around like 30 people. I think we actually have capacity here around 120. Okay, which is going to be great because we're going to get lots of data and have lots of great conversations. Uh, but I'm going to count down. So just note your table because you're going to be each table is going to be assigned to a worksheet. And that's pretty, first off. Uh, do people have people found the spreadsheet? You can see what's in there. Okay, great. Um, so I'm going to count down the tables from here. So this is going to be table one, table two, three, four in the back, five, six, seven. You're seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I'm glad I can count because uh, that is exactly the number of uh, sheets in that spreadsheet. And I want you to go through that spreadsheet and you'll find links to these proposals and descriptions and you'll, you'll be able to sort of go through the entire thing. Uh, so what I would like you to do, uh, I think this thing doesn't work. Oh, no, never mind. Okay, so for the first five minutes, and I'm gonna break shortly and I'll just walk around and sort of answer questions. But in the first uh, five minutes, I really encourage you to just take a short time to introduce yourselves to the table, see what kind of backgrounds are you like, is it mostly developers, technical people, non-technical, social scientists, or some, I know there are definitely some researchers interspersed in here. Uh, briefly introduce yourselves and then just chat, you know, go through these proposals, try to understand them, talk about like what's, what's missing, what's good, what's bad, come up with a ranking, and then you can allocate uh, $10 million, as you'll see in there, uh, Oh, across these proposals. At the end, uh, the last 10 minutes or so, we're going to synthesize some of those uh, conclusions and we'll talk about, and we'll have kind of an open question and answer uh, session where we can talk about what are the priorities for Dow Science and how can we learn, uh, what kind of new things do we need to learn. All right, with that, I'll break and we'll start these breakouts. One minute, one minute. Put in your rankings and your allocations. Oh my God. You're really giving that much money to that? Put in your numbers, see the numbers change. All right. The people who have uh, already put in their things. Oh, come on people. There's no need to sabotage Dallas for nonprofits. Building public goods. Uh, all right. Uh, I know, yes, there's a problem. Too many people are editing at the same time, so it's actually not allowing you to edit. Uh, maybe this is uh, telling you, you should have gotten your rankings early in, earlier on. Okay, uh, so why don't we see what we have right now? And, uh, okay, could you actually, uh, what do we have? Okay, granular primacy primitive seems, can you scroll up and down? Just scroll up and down. Let's just see like what the rankings are. Actually, I'm gonna, okay, let's see. We have, what's what's highest right now? Uh, one is good, one is good. 12 is bad. Uh, okay. Okay, you know what, this is, uh, if you could like uh, slice it, like if you go to rankings in that little dash bar, if you could order it, the ranking by that, that'd be helpful. Oh my God, granular privacy primitives. All right, okay, so that's, that's interesting feedback. People really like privacy, uh, or maybe they just like something like a really solid computer science thing. Allocation, 900, almost a million dollars, okay. I think Dan Bonet would be very happy with that. Though he, get, he has a lot of money, he, he'll be fine. Um, let's see, what's, what's next? We have a lot of people in the middle of the pack, but it seems win to Dow's win is fairly high up there. Do you guys all want Dow's to win? Or at least avoid the places where they're losing, right? That, that seems like a good plan. Uh, but it's interesting that they are only getting half of as much as granular privacy primitive. So people seem to be putting a, a premium on these, maybe like CS research. I'm just inferring here. Uh, challenges of digital public infrastructure, decently high ranking, but not much allocation. I don't know why. All right, uh, 
in the six minutes left, that's left, I'll let people explore this uh, on their own. It's kind of an like interesting data set. If you, I would really encourage you to, uh, if you're already on these groups, to kind of just refine the data a bit, because I'll tell you why. Uh, so this data is going to be uh, refined and cleaned up a little bit. And then we're, so right now, this is uh, $10 million in fake money, or fake, fake money, right? Uh, so we will be giving some of this data to uh, a bunch of different funders, the Ethereum Foundation, Uniswap, the World Bank, National Science Foundation, and trying to actually uh, building together that $10 million grant to fund the future of Dow Science. And this will be directly from the community saying, these are our priorities. This is what we care about, at least you know, with this, this sampling of research proposals that are currently out there. And hopefully this will help guide, uh, if not the next 10 years, at the very least, the next two to three years of funding decisions. So I really, really encourage you to go back uh, and you know, at least fix that ref mistake. Come on, <laughs> who did that? Who did that? I'm gonna find you, I will find you. I like nonprofits. Uh, I'll also just give a little bit of background to this research project. Uh, so this is, um, as I mentioned, this is part of a longer uh, project to build up the infrastructure for Dow research and for Dow science. So for those of you who aren't researchers, uh, even for those of you who are, you know, there's a different set of incentives in institutions that you need in order to build an effective research ecosystem, right? To be able to produce uh, results that have implications not just you know, three months or six months, but 10 years down the line. And what we're trying to do is working together, uh, I won't pull up the sort of the data set again, uh, but the, um, oh, with the slides rather, but actually, could you go back to the slides and go to the, uh, the, the, sl the slides, DevCon 22, that, that tab, tab at the top. Okay. <laughs> um, anyways, go to DowScience.org. You'll see all this sort of previewed there and it has an explainer for what we're trying to do. Basically, a collection of some of the main research organizations in the DAO space, including Medigov, the DAO Research Collective, and the Smart Contract Research Forum, uh, basically a bunch of nonprofits, are teaming up in order to organize uh, this field of DAO science and trying to figure out how we can sort of synthesize and bring together practitioners, uh, many of which are represented in this room, with scientists, and how do we onboard practitioners more into science and, of course, attract more scientists, more academics, people from really a large variety of different backgrounds into this space to make it stronger, to make it more vibrant, uh, and to ultimately solve some of the problems that we care about. Uh, so yeah, all that will be explained at DowScience.org. I can't direct them to point it at it, but just go to DowScience.org, you'll see what's next. And I think with that, we have around Three minutes left. Are there any questions? So this one is like more to see what our priorities are and where like people want it. Mm -hmm. But it has so much to do with the proposal, like how it was written itself. Like some of them were not clear as to what they really wanted. For example, Dali for DAOs. Now that sounds cool and might be something that a lot of people would want, like AI yeah, involving the whole space. Mm -hmm. I just did not understand the proposal. What was going to be the conclusion of that whole thing? I didn't want to give them money. Yeah. So the question. Uh, uh, was about Dali and the fact that the Dali proposal and the fact that it didn't really make sense or it didn't communicate a sense of like, this is the ultimate end, right? This is the broader impact. Uh, and the reason we put that in here as part of the sample is because uh, it turns out there's, well, it turns out funding goes everywhere, but also uh, there's actually a lot of very playful proposals coming out of places like art schools or collaborations between art schools and engineering schools that are much more exploratory, um, that don't have a sense of like, oh, this is the ultimate benefit to DAOs, right? And this is actually one of the, uh, the reasons, I think, it's important to think about DAO research and DAO science apart from standard like VC investment tracks, is that you can fund uh, these kinds of more speculative proposals that don't have any specific impact in mind. They're just play, right? It's a little bit like art, like Dolly. Any other questions in the back? Um, so taking this information, like, and if we're a protocol and we're thinking about DAO to kind of create a DAO and work with DAO, like, how can we use these uh, proposals and like allow us to think through these? Yeah, yeah. 
Um, so these proposals uh, will eventually all be synthesized uh, into a big survey paper called Open Problems in Dow Science. And it'll be much easier to consume and shorter and have all the citations. And you can see, it'll be like a kind of like a, a nice, uh, concise way to sort of share that with your DAO, uh, where the practitioners in your DAO. Um, the other side of this is that obviously like, a, a, and how, how do I say it? Uh, and there's different ways uh, being built by different organizations, including, as I mentioned, Medigov, DRC, and SCURF, uh, to figure out ways to, how do I say it, shorten the pipeline from production of research to application of that research. Um, in science, we call this like translational research, right? Uh, and there's efforts to do that. It just takes time and it takes building institutions. This is why it's important to build a research ecosystem because you can't just have researchers like doing random shit uh, or academics, you know, spouting theory. You need to have this whole other piece of infrastructure that like pays attention to this stuff and then figures out this is the part that's useful. These are the experiments we're actually going to, you know, put money into running. Yeah. Yeah, I think one question I had was more like on like, like 10 million is a good example because probably most of those like don't need much money at all, but like below a certain threshold, they also couldn't do anything. So I, I wonder if there could be like something like a, with more skin in the game, like a Gitcoin round <laughs> on like purely DAO science, where you, for example, like as an active DAO member get higher matching. So actually the, the people that actually have an idea of DAOs like uh, have like higher matching, but I think yeah. like signaling also like what's the minimum money needed and the maximum mm -hmm. So you actually, almost more like, a, I'm not sure if you know, the S process of funding. Um, that are, so I think there's like ways to improve the allocation over this. Yes, yes. Uh, I'm gonna answer that very shortly and out of respect for the next speakers, we're gonna end this. But the, um, yeah, very shortly, the first time we actually ran this exercise was at Stanford with uh, a panel including uh, Guy from A16Z, Aya from the Ethereum Foundation, and Scott from Gitcoin. Um, and, very much into this idea of yeah, doing something some sort of quadratic funding infrastructure, and we've actually been talking with Gitcoin because they uh, recently uh, are trying to make their funding package a little bit more like a protocol. Yeah, doing like a test run of that, or maybe just doing a, like a like a funding round that's specific to digital science. We're very much exploring that. All right, amazing. Thank you all for coming and sharing your thoughts. Appreciate it.